So now uh, I've got to go head back to Ten Pines to help out with an attack there. I'm sure you've all seen or heard about the information public Some bold claims by our intrepid
So I'm guessing either super mutants or raiders. Bound to be one of those two. Probably not an animal. But never can tell sometimes. Tell me that the dog is sniffing the glue. That seems to have worked well. Reminds me I should have upgraded um, the ability to start setting up um, vendors. Don't think I've done that yet. They should despawn anyway, I'm just getting rid of them. The uh, common wealth is disastrous enough for health issues as it is. No need to leave a couple of raiders around. You can't really bury them anyway, so... going to head back to the north and head to, to the um, let's see here which one is it this one this residence I'm gonna drop off some of the uh, items here 
Can't set up a vendors just yet, so I don't want to carry them around everywhere. Pretty much a straight shot following the north part of the map. The writers keep coming back. And with better armor, too. Come better armor. You just heard from the ink spots with maybe. I'm not switching that out with my um, right arm because my right arm has a stealth component to it. If I'm not moving right. Sort of close. I'm your host, Travis Lonely Miles. And that's been very this beneficial, even if it doesn't have the same type of Next damage worry, resistance. Worry, worry by the three sons. Got it. Um, Brotherhood and the, um, the, the vertebrate are pretty good shots, so I'm not as worried about them hitting me. At least what I've seen so far. But strangely enough, it's possible to take down the vertebrate here with much smaller. Uh, Weapons than I thought they you'd be able to. I've seen them take down a vertebrate without a rocket launcher or a minigun. Okay. And I'll reset it. Every time you set it, often it's a different one if it's like three. Nice. 
duck all meat. That's good. This canister. Oh well. Pretty good for experience. Not quite as dangerous as you might think they are. And yet it could do a lot of damage, but if you keep your distance, you're fine even on lower levels. Their ability to hit you with a rock is not so great. So they don't really present a significant danger. Fight, I'm fine with that. to believe that some places have been sunk because of the damage. There. Super mutants. Oh no. That is the dumbest. Some or all of you may have heard of that old Carson. That is dumb even for sleeping mutants. They basically spiked a uh, mini nuke to kill a dog. You think that might mean the place is overflowing with raiders right now? It's empty, abandoned. Now you could assume they got what they wanted and bolted. But that given how creepy that place stupid. was, I can't help but wonder if something else happened. We may never know. But for it sure. fits with the super no mutants. <laughs> That's okay with me. Next up is Big Maybell, bringing the house down with a whole lot of shaking going on. Okay, so this goal.
I'm gonna go ahead to shore now. stuck there. The glowing ones love radiation. It heals schools in general but the glowing ones have absorbed so much radiation that they generate it it seems. So being in places of high radiation is usually what they're after. Seems like a nice house. Pretty open area. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. Missing person. Oh, this should be a priority. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. 
Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. He wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Hmm. You can take a look at the boathouse. Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something. Like she usually does. Someone made contact with her. And then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. I'm guessing this is her room. should confuse the creeps and if someone actually gets the reference then we'll at least have circuitry in common it's not a bad idea in here other than the
Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. I wonder if she thinks she's a synth. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Eyewitness reports have them engaged in a firefight with unknown opponents at the Arcjet building here in the Commonwealth. While their motivations aren't entirely clear, I think we can all make some guesses about what they're up to. I think it's safe to say there was some tech they wanted, and they decided to go take it. I know I wouldn't want to be in their way. The reports go on to say they made it out in one piece. Presumably. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. <sighs> okay. I know you're disappointed. But I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Must be the other boat. Given the power set up, I suspect this is the, yeah, this would be the grandfather's place. Something's back there. Really nice setup. You ever get locked out of the safe? And the answer is here in the belt house. Picture where the key is. Hmm. I'll leave that. up there. 
They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Okay, Lisa. You know, they would involve that because this is part of the DLC, but. I don't think they're gonna like that. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Hmm. I'll be nice and close the doors and leave. So the grandfather built this. Pretty nice.
Spears ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Namelander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. That means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, he might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hull! Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! There's someone right there. The gate. Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Jokers! Oh god! Defend yourselves! Them. on the fall. Something's coming. More. Sorry about the server. We made it. I can't believe it. Thank you. Hey. The fog's poison, on account of the children of Adam. Lost my home when the fog rolled in. They get hold of a death claw hand. Radiation. Which 
Sean or the Adam. Two of them didn't make it. Bad. Captain Avery's all right, I guess. Hey. I could use time. Alone. Captain. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so? It's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Well, leaks can find out What's the deal if with they're the children of involved Adam? or not. They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam, which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law, just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Yeah, have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know, as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other, less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you.
fresh shipment. All your medical and food needs. For the children of Adam. Oh, sign me up then. Now let's see if I can do some help. Hi. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you. Because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. It was a good laugh, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but... <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to pee. Help the mariner too. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. Good. Sign me up. 
I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Get them while they're in stock. There's the park. Campground right here that has the ghouls. Further west. Okay, going to help those two then. Pretty much the same. I picked up one meat hook, and that should be fine. But it looks like it's oh, another one of these. Hmm. Pretty much the same loadout of Raiders. like I'm going to have to be fairly careful with this fog. out there he is. 